Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding fractions word problems. And we're going to go through two problems or situations where we'll use adding in order to get us to our answer. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have Jose spent two-fifths of his money on new shirts and one half of his money on new shoes. What fraction of his money has been spent and what fraction is still left? So let's take the information from the problem here. We have two-fifths on shirts and we're combining that with how much he spent on shoes, which would be adding together. Whenever we have combining um, of things, it's going to be addition. So two-fifths plus one-half. Now, we do not have a common denominator, um, so we need to find one for five and 10. So the common denominator is going to be 10 for a five and a two. So I'm going to rewrite the problem to the right here. And we have a common denominator of 10. Well, two-fifths, I know five times two gives me that denominator of 10. So I need to do that to the top in order to get an equivalent fraction. And two times two is four. So two fifths is four tenths, equivalent to four tenths. Now we need to rename one half. Well, two times five is 10. Let's do that to the top to get our equivalent fraction. One times five is five. Now we're ready to add because we have a common denominator. Four plus five is nine, and we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So this is how much he spent. He has spent nine tenths of his money. So nine tenths has been spent. So now we need to figure out what fraction of his money is left. How do we get to the full one whole or 10 out of 10? So what's left? So if he spent nine tenths, that means one tenth is left. That's what will get us to the full whole of 10 out of 10 or 100% of his money. So nine tenths has been spent. And again, one tenth is left. Let's take a look at number two. Quinn read two-fifths of her book over the weekend and one-sixth on Monday. What fraction of the book has she read? What fraction is left? So again, we're combining two-fifths from the weekend and then one-sixth from Monday. So that's going to be two-fifths plus one-sixth. We do not have a common denominator, so we need to rename uh, with a common denominator in order to add. Five and six, the common denominator is going to be 30. So let's rename. I know five times six is 30, so let's do it to the top. Two times six is 12. Six times five will give me my denominator of 30. So I need to do one times five is five. So here uh, we have 12 plus five is 17. Keep our denominator of 30. So she read a total of 17 thirtieths. This is how much she has read. So we need to figure out what fraction is left. How do we get to 30 out of 30 or 100% of the book? What's remaining? Well, 13 thirtieths would get us to that 30 over 30 or the 100% of the book. So we have 13 thirtieths left. And think about it, 17 plus that 13 gets us to again, the 30 out of 30, which is one whole or 100% of the book. So there you have it. There's a couple of situations or word problems where we had to add fractions in order to find the solution. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.